Welcome back. The PoE power over Ethernet is limited to about 300 feet. If we need to have the long run to the IP camera beyond 300 feet, we can use the PoE standard. Usually, we will repeat the network start from the MVR. But recently, we got a very strange case. The customer want to repeat the network back from the camera, but not the MVR. We still can use the PoE standard. First of all, let's just go to the whiteboard and see what is the real situation the customer facing now. Here's the real situation. This is the bound. And the customer has three cameras set up and powered by this PoE switch. It's quite simple. The distance is short between the switch and the camera. There's no problem. And the cu customer wants to place the MVR at the house. But the distance between the bound and the house is beyond 500 feet. If we just wire the Ethernet cable between this bound and the house, it will not work because the signal will start dropping after about 300 feet. And you see, that means we need to repeat the network from the bound to the house. But most of the case, we will repeat the data PoE number from the NVR to the camera. But we still can use the PoE standard. Now let's go to see how we can set up this system. This is the PoE standard we mentioned. The PoE standard with the PoE input. You can see the PoE input is facing to the camera. It makes sense, right? Because now we just repeat the network start from the camera, not the recorder. And the output is facing to the recorder. It's connecting to the main router. Now the camera's live, both indicators on, that means the system is working well. There are two things important in this kind of setup. The first thing is when we connect to this switch, we need to use one of the PoE port. We cannot use the uplink port. Because if we use the uplink port, then this PoE extender cannot get the power. This PoE standard will perform the power handshaking before you release the power to edge device. If you cannot verify your edge device like the router need the power, it will just provide the data exchange. Now you can see the data indicators on, that means there's data exchange between the router and this PoE extender. And eventually, the customer also want to add a second router to the bound. Is it working? It will be working? Yes. We just need to attach this router to one of the ports, even the PoE or non-PoE port. Then we got the Ethernet accessing from the bound. As long as we have this link working, it doesn't matter how the data travel. All right, that's all for today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the video. You also can find us on the social media network. See you next time.